Welcome to my vlog. Ayan, today's video guys, no? Ayan, kukuha tayo ng ship drop guys, no? Ayan, sisimulan natin sa up station. Okay, ayan. Ayan, ayan guys. Bali, 11. Titingnan muna natin kung saan siya mag, uh, matagal mag-steady. No, mga 11.5 guys, no? Or 11.56. Galing, ha? Okay, ayan. Ayan, ililista muna natin, no? Sa ating cellphone kasi wala akong dalang notebook na iwan <laughs> ok 11.56 dito na natin baka kamali tayo <laughs> so, ayan ayan 11.56 pwede na yan 5.5 guys so, 11.6 11.55 na lang 11.55 Up Okay Ayan Ito yung barco namin guys no? Grabe no Sobrang dami ng Alikabok no? Ayan. Ayan Sobrang dami ng alikabok guys Dahil yung kargada namin Is Uh, post pay trucks no parang ano lang siya no kung makikita mo to siya guys parang alam mo yung pag yung bahay mo is nasa ano ka lang tabi ng highway no ayan <laughs> yung typical na halikabok na na nasa tabi ng highway ka guys ito no ayan ito yung aming kargada no ayan pero tinatawag yan na post pay trucks guys no ayan mostly ah uh, may mga source dito guys ng postpaid trucks dito sa my North and South Africa no meron sila dito ito yung pinaka pinaka ano nila no na produkto no paano masabi ayan postpaid trucks marami sa marami marami sila nito no yung mga ganitong kargada dito sa Africa so dahil dito na lang pa dito pala kami sa Anaba Algeria guys no And ayan dito sa midship is 10.10.56 What? No, ayan. Ayan 10.55 bigyan natin 10.55 to. Gago. Yan, kailangan babaan natin no? para meron tayong kahit mga 1cm na uh, ginansya sana oh. no, ayan 10 10 10.7 10.75 guys okay, 10.75 Ayan, yun yung mid mid drop okay, ayan mid drop, meron na tayong mid drop kukuha tayo ng forward drop guys okay, forward drop na lang ang kulang ayan kasi nag-aaral ako guys no, kung paano pintahin yung uh, kargada no gamit yung ating ship strap. What? Dina. Ito ilan yung mga na load. Ayun. Practice tayo, no. Thank you. Yeah, ito yung barko namin, no. Grabe ka ni kabuk. Ayun, first time ko ring uh, ano guys, no. First time ko ring uh, experience ng ganitong kargada, no. Yung last na sinakyan ko na malikabok yung grains pero mas okay pa yon no kaysa dito. So grabe dito. Grabe ka likabok. Sobrang kapal. Okay. 
Ayan, ayan si Elias Teres wow! Okay, ayan yung drop forward guys No Ayan Nine point Drop forward Nine point Ayan, eight yung nakikita, no? Mga nine point nine two Ayan, nine point nine two Okay, drop forward 'yung ano no, uh, drop up 11.55. Tapos drop mid ship is 10.75 and drop forward is 9.92. Ayun, ulitin natin no. Ayun, paano naging 9 'yan? Kasi 'yun, yung 9 is hindi nakita, di sabihin 9 na 'yan. And then 8, slot ng 8 is 9 no. Eh medyo magalaw ang tubig, no. Erase mo na lang no. Yeah, 9.92. Okay, ayan yung barko namin, no. Astir. Ayan, yung conveyor niya. Oh. Sobrang alikabok talaga, guys. Ayan, ang tanong naman, no. Ayan. Okay. And babalik na tayo sa barko, no. Akit na tayo. Para kukuha naman tayo ng list, no. Okay. Dito naman tayo sa level host No Kaya nasa 130 Mga galaw man Okay, 136 136 guys 136 Yung port side Okay Hoy! 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 Ano yung ari dyan? Ano yung mga tropa? Kaya Kuha naman tayo dito sa starboard side One, Ayan, erase natin no Isa siya mag ano K140 Magalaw kasi Okay Malagay na natin guys 1.4.0 Ayan 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 
And uh, yun na, no? ganun na yung pagkuha no? ng uh, ship strap and siyempre yung leveling hose no? dito, lalo pag sumakay kayo ng bulk carrier. Ay paano? Papaalabo na ako. See you next vlog. Bye-bye! Ladies and gentlemen, in order to complete the variety of the tasks connected with the ship's operation, we should know how to measure the ship's draft. In this video, I will explain it how to do it. We need to know the ship's draft for the two major tasks. First is to know at which area of the sea surface ship can safely navigate and at which area ship cannot navigate due to the lack of the depth. And the second major task is in order to calculate the weight of the ship and the weight of the cargo because for many cargoes and for many ships the calculation of the displacement by means of draft measuring is only one way to find out how many cargo is on board. Reading of the draft is taken from the six draft marks which are situated at forward, middle and aft part of the ship hull from both sides. This is how draft marks look like. There is special drawing which is describing draft mark arrangement. You can always find it on board. Draft reading is done where waterline and draft mark are crossing. Every symbol of the draft mark is 10 cm high. The vertical distance between the symbols is 10 cm as well. You should look at draft mark for determination of the draft reading. For example, here draft corresponds to 8 m 20 cm. Here draft corresponds to 8 m 30 cm. Here draft corresponds to 8 m 35 cm. Here draft corresponds to 8 m 0 cm. Here draft corresponds to 9 m 2 cm. You can see the draft mark symbols are designed in such a way which is splitting whole height of the symbol for 5 equal distances, 2 cm each. If the draft reading is between the draft mark symbols, you should rely on your eye estimation only. It is always better to read the draft from such position when you can see it under the right angle. In case you have a sea disturbance during the draft reading, it is very important to make respective remarks in the documents, logbook or draft survey report. Because sea disturbance might cause the huge discrepancies in the dead weight and cargo quantity calculation. This is all I was going to explain regarding subject issue. See you in the next videos. Bye. I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning. I'm just thinking about your eye. Just don't know if I've been faking or pretending, but I know I never felt so damn alive. I don't know if I believe the information given That there is someone by your side Coming back inside my body for a second There is no way that I'm never gonna try